the water security has been rising up the political agenda, I think, since 2013, especially when the UN put out a report on uh, global water security. It's also been taken up by the Asian Development Bank. Water security is one of these uh, non-traditional forms of security, along with energy security and, and food security, that people are paying and governments are paying much more attention to now. For us, uh, urban water security is, is crucial because it's one of those services without which our lives just can't go ahead. We're completely at a loss if we don't have access to adequate, good quality supplies of water. And it also has an immediate impact on, on livelihoods and economic activity. Developing indicators has to be done in a very systematic way, um, using a framework. I think one of the risks is that you simply grab hold of different dimensions that you think might be important or that occur to you at the time and make these into a set of indicators. What we've tried to do in our project is to um, proceed by developing a very systematic framework and following a distinct methodology. It's known as the process analysis method. We start with a definition of, of urban water security and we elaborate that to identify four particular dimensions that we think are important. That's resources, access, risks and governance. And then we identify particular indicators for, for each of those. And one of the challenges with developing uh, indicators and coming up with a coherent set is, you know, what's the level that you're really interested in? Something like the Water Stress Index, which is uh, developed by Falkermark and is very well known, that relates to essentially the global level. A lot of the indices that we see and in indicators relate to the national level. Often that's just for the very practical reason that that's the level at which data are collected. But water is a fundamentally local issue. And so our feeling is that it's very important to be able to measure water security at the city level, as well as at the national or international levels. So having identified the indicators that we wanted to look at, we tried to pilot these in two cities, in Singapore and Hong Kong. And we developed a case study for each city. What that brought to light very quickly was the problem of modifying indicators in order really to capture what the problems are for a specific city. And we try to accommodate this within our framework. So we have what we call high level indicators, which we try to capture uh, for all cities, but sub indicators, which we can vary or modify according to the particular challenges of the city. So in one city, for example, groundwater might be completely irrelevant. They rely entirely on surface water sources. So we drop that from consideration. And that way, what we try to do is to allow for a certain amount of comparison while keeping in the specificity of issues for any particular city.